Chapter 1, The Rise of Ramesses the Great. In the heart of ancient Egypt, a pharaoh rose to power whose name would echo through the ages, Ramesses II, known as Ramesses the Great. Ascending the throne as the third ruler of the 19th dynasty, his reign marked a pinnacle of architectural glory and political power. Chapter 2, Monuments of Eternity. Ramesses II's passion for architecture fueled a construction era unparalleled in Egyptian history. The Ramesseum, his mortuary temple, stood as a testament to his divine kingship. Its walls, adorned with reliefs of his military triumphs, including the famed Battle of Kadesh, were not just a monument but a narrative of his greatness. Further south, the temples of Abu Simbel carved into the very cliffs beside the Nile, immortalized his legacy. These colossal structures, with the giant statues of the pharaoh, were not mere edifices, they were declarations of power and divinity, designed to stand the test of time. Chapter 3, A Legacy in Stone. The architectural achievements of Ramesses II were not solely acts of vanity, they represented the zenith of Egyptian craftsmanship and cultural sophistication. Each temple, obelisk, and statue commissioned under his rule was a page in the story of a civilization that understood the power of legacy. Chapter 4, The Eternal Pharaoh. As centuries turned to millennia, the works of Ramesses II endured. They stood as silent witnesses to the greatness of a ruler who understood that true immortality lay not in the fleeting triumphs of battles but in the lasting achievements of culture and art. Epilogue, Echoes of the Past. The legacy of Ramesses the Great invites us to look beyond the sands of time, urging us to understand that our own greatness is measured not just by what we achieve but by what we leave behind. In the enduring stone of his temples, we find a call to remember and to learn from the past, inspiring us to build our own legacies with wisdom and vision. Thus, in the story of Ramesses II, we see not only the chronicle of an ancient king but a timeless lesson in the pursuit of greatness and the enduring power of human endeavor. Chapter 5, The Master of Diplomacy. Beyond his architectural feats, Ramesses II was a master of diplomacy. His treaty with the Hittites, following the Battle of Kadesh, was a landmark in international relations. This agreement, arguably the earliest recorded peace treaty, showcased his ability to balance warfare with diplomacy, solidifying Egypt's position as a dominant force in the ancient world. Chapter 6, The Pharaoh's Domain. Under Ramesses II, Egypt experienced an era of prosperity and stability. His reign extended Egypt's influence, ensuring economic strength through trade and military campaigns. The wealth garnered under his rule was pivotal in funding his ambitious construction projects, further cementing his status as a great ruler. Chapter 7, The Cult of Ramesses. Ramesses II skillfully used propaganda to elevate his status. He declared himself a god, a strategy that bolstered his authority and legacy. Temples like the Ramesseum served not only as mortuary temples but also as centers of the Ramesses cult, ensuring his continued veneration long after his death. Chapter 8, A Family of Royalty. His personal life was as grand as his public persona. With multiple wives, including the famous Queen Nefertari, and over a hundred children, Ramesses II ensured a succession of his lineage and the continuation of his legacy through his offspring. Chapter 9, The Innovator. Innovation marked his reign. Ramesses II oversaw advancements in construction techniques, which were reflected in the grandeur of his building projects. He also promoted the development of arts and sciences, fostering an environment of intellectual growth. Chapter 10, A Connected Kingdom. Under his rule, the communication and administration across the vast Egyptian kingdom were streamlined. This efficient governance was crucial in maintaining control over distant territories and in the swift execution of his architectural and military endeavors. Chapter 11, The God King's Decline. Even the greatest of pharaohs faced the inevitability of time. In his later years, challenges arose as health declined and threats at the borders increased. Yet, his established systems of governance and his heirs ensured the kingdom's stability. Chapter 12, The Pharaoh's Twilight. As Ramesses II approached the end of his life, he had already secured his place in history. His death marked the end of an era, but his vision lived on in the monuments and the political and cultural foundations he laid. Chapter 13, The Immortal Pharaoh. Today, Ramesses II is revered not just as a ruler of ancient Egypt, but as a symbol of human achievement. His life and works continue to fascinate and inspire, serving as a reminder of the indelible impact one person can have on the course of history. In the saga of Ramesses II, we find a blend of human ambition, political acumen, and artistic vision. His story is a testament to the heights humanity can reach when driven by a desire to create, to rule wisely, and to leave an enduring mark on the world. 
Chapter 14, The Artistic Patron. Ramesses II's reign was also marked by a flourish in the arts. He patronized artists and craftsmen, leading to a renaissance in sculpture, painting, and literature. This era produced some of the most exquisite artifacts and writings, which continue to be celebrated for their beauty and insight into ancient Egyptian life. Chapter 15, The Warrior King. His military prowess was legendary. Ramesses II led numerous campaigns to expand and defend Egypt's territories. His leadership in battles, most notably at Kadesh, showcased his strategic acumen and bravery, qualities that endeared him to his soldiers and instilled fear in his adversaries. Chapter 16, The Builder of Cities. Beyond temples and monuments, Ramesses II was instrumental in urban development. He founded the city of Pi Ramesses in the Nile Delta, which served as Egypt's new capital during his reign. This city was a hub of political, economic, and cultural activity, reflecting his vision for a prosperous and unified Egypt. Chapter 17, The Keeper of Traditions. While pioneering in many ways, Ramesses II was also a preserver of traditions. He upheld and celebrated the religious and cultural practices of Egypt, ensuring that the customs of his ancestors continued to be an integral part of Egyptian society. Chapter 18, The Global Pharaoh. His influence extended beyond the borders of Egypt. Ramesses II's interactions with neighboring civilizations through trade, diplomacy, and warfare made him a well-known figure in the ancient world. His reign is a significant chapter in the story of early global interconnections. Chapter 19, The Enduring Mystique. Centuries after his death, the allure of Ramesses II remains. Archaeologists and historians continue to uncover new findings about his reign, offering deeper insights into his life and times. The discovery of his mummy, his temples, and artifacts keep his story alive and relevant. Chapter 20, Learning from the Past. The legacy of Ramesses II challenges us to reflect on our own pursuits. His life exemplifies the heights of human potential and the enduring impact of leadership, vision, and creativity. In studying his reign, we gain not only knowledge of the past but also insights into the universal aspirations and capabilities of humanity. Through the story of Ramesses II, we journey into a world where one man's ambition shaped a civilization, leaving a legacy that transcends time. His life serves as a powerful reminder of the enduring impact of leadership, vision, and human creativity. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.